trying to understand what I am trying to say. <laughs> Om. 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 Shuklam Baradharam Vishnum Shashivarnan Jatar Bhujam Prasannavadan Andhyajet Sarva Vigno Pashantajen Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Parabrahmatasma, Shri Gurave Namaha, Kardakashe Sadabhantam Shantamananda Rupinam, Jnana Bhanu Maham Vande Sadgurum Satyasajinam, Om Sri Gurave Sri Satyasajina, the Sri Padukam Pujayaminamaha, Om Sri Paramagurave Sri Shiridi Sayina, the Sri Padukam Pujaya Minamaha. Om Sri Paramesh Tigurave Sri Datta Treyaswami Sri Padukam Pujaya Minamaha. Hari He Om Namaschandi Kaye. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hari Om, Shalom, Sairam, Namaste. I'm so happy to have the head and the heart together along with the hands today. The three H's back after a few weeks. So great to see my lovely brother Branimir back on the camera uh, wearing his headphones and ready to chant. Such a great divine presence that we are having collectively. There is no speaker here, there is no chanter here, there is no learner here. It's that collective presence that we are experiencing through this incredible satsang of Devi Mahatyam. And in this collective presence, we lose the individual I. And in losing that individual I, First you lose the mind and then you lose the I. But this I doesn't want to lose. It wants to keep fighting back and it will be fighting and fighting and fighting. It will be falling and getting up and fighting again because it is this I that is now encapsulated in this time, space, individual module, this three-dimensional paradigm of time, space and identification and in this identification it identifies with so many different things, lot of which to which it is attached and those that attached are falling, it still would not give up, it will keep up and fighting, it will be fighting in so many different ways and it would even try to confiscate the awareness and take it top up to the sky. <laughs> That's what happened yesterday. Now you understand what I'm saying? Am I telling you the story that you're familiar with? That's exactly what happened yesterday. The eye keeps falling, but it keeps getting up. And it keeps getting up. Not only it gets up, it will now get hold of that in which it is shining, the so-called awareness. Call it Durga call it Chandika, call it Maya, call it whatever you may want to call it. It takes, it picks that up and now raises to the sky. And this I, if you want to give it a name, call it Shumbha. The mine, if you want to give it a name, call it Rakta. Sorry, call it Nishumbha. And now, today, we are going to see how so the word see is very important. And the mother, after she has said that she is the one and the only one existing, we went through all of this. 
ಸದೈತ್ಯರಾಜ ಸಹಸ ಪುನರೇವ ತೋತ್ಥಿತ ಉತ್ಪತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಗೃಹ್ಯೋ ಚೈರ್ದೇವಿ ಗಗನಮಸ್ಥಿತ ದೆನ್ ದ ಮದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ತತ್ರಿ ಸಾ ನಿರಾಧಾರ ಯುಯುಧೇ ತೇನ ಚಂಡಿಕಾ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ತತ್ರಿ ದೇರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶೀ ನಿರಾಧಾರ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶೀ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ಯುಯುಧೇತ ಚಂಡಿಕಾ ಶೀ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಬ್ರ್ಯಾನಿಮಿರ್ ತ್ರಿ ಸಾ ನಿರಾಧಾರ ಯುಯುಧೇತೇನ ಚಂಡಿಕಾ ತ್ರಿ ಸಾ ನಿರಾಧಾರ ಯುಯುಧೇತೇನ ಚಂಡಿಕಾ ತ್ರಿ ಸಾ ನಿರಾಧಾರ ಯುಯುಧೇತೇನ ಚಂಡಿಕಾ ನಿಯುಂಖೇ ತದ ದೈತ್ಯಶ್ಚಂಡಿಕಾ ಚ ಪರಸ್ಪರ ಚಕ್ರತು ಪ್ರಥಮ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಮುನಿ ವಿಸ್ಮಯಕಾರಕ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಸ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಮುನಿ ದ ಸೇಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಆಲ್ surprised an incomparable battle watching an incomparable battle and it caused a lot of wonder to them muni vismaya karakam niyuddham khe tada daitya which is shumbha daitya chandika cha and to the mother chandika ಚ ಪರಸ್ಪರ ಮ್ಯೂಚುವಲ್ ಯುದ್ಧ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಚಕ್ರತು ಪ್ರಥಮ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಮುನಿ ವಿಸ್ಮಯ ಕಾರಕ ನಿಯುಂಖೇತೈತ್ಯಶ್ಚಂಡಿಕಾ ಚ ಪರಸ್ಪರ ನಿಯುಂಖೇತೈತ್ಯಶ್ಚಂಡಿಕಾ ಚ ಪರಸ್ಪರ ನಿಯುಂಖೇತೈತ್ಯಶ್ಚಂಡಿಕಾಚಪರಸ್ಪರಂಚಕ್ರತುಪ್ರಥಮಂಸಿಮುನಿಸ್ಮಯಕಾರ
chikshepa dharani tale and then hit him to the ground tato niyuddham suchiram kritva tenam vikasaha utpatya bhramayamasa chikshepa dharani tale tato niyuddham suchiram kritva tenam vikasaha तो नियुद्धम सुचिरं कृत्वा तेनाम पिकासह ततो नियुद्धम सुचिरं कृत्वा तेनाम पिकासह उत्पाट्य ब्राह्मयास्मा सचिक्षे पधरानी ताले उत्पाट्य ब्राह्मयामा सचिक्षे पधरानी ताले उत्पाट्य ब्राह्मयामा सचिक्षे पधरानी तले ततो नियुत्थम सुचिरं कृत्वा तेनाम विकासाखा उत्पाट्य ब्राह्मयामा सचिक्षे पधरानी तले ततो नियुत्थम सुचिरं कृत्वा तेनाम विकासाह उत्पात त्यप्राम्हयामा सचिक्षे पधरानी तले ततो नियुद्धम् सुचिरं कृत्वा तेनाम विकासह उत्पात्यप्राम्हयामा सचिक्षे पधरानी तले भ्रामया जस्ट दिस मर्ति मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पीस इज अ भ्रामा मार्टिन दैट्स व्हाट ही इज सेइंग भरामयामासा सच्छिप्तो धरणीम प्राप्या इम्मीडिएटली आफ्टर ही हिट हिज हिट दी एर्थ मुष्टिमुद्यम या वेगवान ही स्प्रंग अप इम्मीडिएटली वेरी फास्ट दुष्टात्मा दिस विकेड सोल चंडिका निधने छया in order to, with the intent to kill Chandika, Abhyadhavata, he started rushing towards her. Satchipto dharanim prapya, mushti mudhyam ya vegavan, Abhyadhavata dushtatma, Chandika nidhane chaya. Satchipto. तो धारणीम प्राप्य मुष्टि मुत्यम यवेगवान सक्षिप्तो धारणीम प्राप्य मुष्टि मुत्यम यवेगवान सक्षिप्तो धारणीम प्राप्य मुष्टि मुत्यम यवेगवान अप्यत्रावता दुष्टात्मा चंडिका निधने छाया अभ्यधावत दुष्टात्मा चंडिका निधने छाया अभ्यधावत दुष्टात्मा चंडिका निधने छाया सक्षिप्तो धारणीम प्राप्य मुष्टि मुत्यम यवेगवान अभ्यधावत दुष्टात्मा चंडिका निधने छाया सक्षिप्तो धरणीम प्राप्य मुष्टि मुद्यम यवेगवान अभ्यधावत दुष्टात्मा चंडिका निधने छाया सक्षिप्तो धरणीम प्राप्य मुष्टि मुद्यम यवेगवान अभ्यधावत दुष्टात्मा चंडिका निधने छाया तमायांतन ततो देवी सर्वदैत्य जन ईश्वरम् जगत्याम् पातयामासा भित्वा शूले न वक्षसी तमायांतन ततो देवी दन देवी सिंग दिस सर्वदैत्य जन ईश्वरम् द वन हु इज़ द लॉर्ड ऑफ़ ऑल द दैत्यस Jagatyam pataya masa, make him fall to the ground, to the earth, by using her shula, the trident, vakshasi bhitva, 
tore apart his chest with her trishulam brought him down to the earth tamayantantato devi sarvadaitya janeshwaram jagatyam patayamasa bhitvashulena vakshasi tamayantantato devi sarvadaitya janeshwaram jagatyam patayamasa bhitvashulena vakshasi ah oh, sorry Tamayantantato Devi Sarvadaitya Janeshwaram Tamayantantato Devi Sarvadaitya Janeshwaram Jagatyam Patayama Sabhitva Shulena Vakshasi Jagatyam Patayama Sabhitva Shulena Vakshasi Jagatyam patayama sabhitva shulena vakshasi Tamayan tantato devi sarvadaitya janeshwaram Jagatyam patayama sabhitva shulena vakshasi Tamayan tantato devi sarvadaitya janeshwaram Jagatyam patayama sabhitva shulena vakshasi Tamayam tantato devi sarvadaitya janeshwaram Jagatyam patayama sabhitva shulena vakshasi <coughs> Sagatasu Papata Urviam Devi Shula Gravikshataha. When he was torn apart by the pointed dart, Shula Agravikshataha, with the pointed <coughs> trident of the mother, when he fell down, Sagata Suhu Papata Urviam Chalayan Sakalam. Purudhvim sa abdhi dvipam sa parvatam. When he fell down like that, dead, pierced by the mother's pointed shulam, the entire ground chalayan sakalam, there was almost like a major earthquake on the earth. Purudhvim. Huh? Chalayan Sakalan Sa Abdhi Dvipam All the islands, all the oceans, all the mountains, all of them have shaken apart. Sagata Suhu, when he was dead and fell on the ground. You know, this is a very, very important. It sounds like a very simple episode of oh what's the big deal man this lady killed the guy and he fell down and what is this thing about everything shaken falling apart everything remind me after the class what these kind of shlokas mean sagatasuhu papator vyam devi shulagravikshataha chalayan sakalan prudhvin sabdhi dvipam saparvatam Sagata suf papator vyan devi shula gravikshataha. Sagata suf papator vyan devi shula gravikshataha. Sagata suf papator vyan devi shula gravikshataha. Chala yan sakalam pratim sabhit. Dvipam saparvatam Chalayan sakalam pratvim sabhidvipam saparvatam Chalayan sakalam pratvim sabhidvipam saparvatam Sagata suf papator vyan devi shulakravikshataha 
चालयन सकला पृथ्वी साधिवीपा स पर्वता सगत सुपातोर्व्यालाग्रवीक्षत चालयन सकला पृथ्वी साधिवीपा स पर्वता सगत सुपातोर्व्यालाग्रवीक्षत चालयन सकला पृथ्वी साधिवीपा स पर्वता तत प्रसन्नात्माखिल हते तस्विंदुरात्म जगत्स्वाप निर्मल वेन दट विकेड असुरा वॉज किल्ड हते तस्विंदुरात्म तत देर डॉंड प्रसन्नमखिल प्रसन्न is peace akhilam all over jagat svyap jagat sa jagat sa asthvya mati ma vapa jagat svap sya mati vapa jagat svat sya mati vapa nirmalancha bhavanna bhaha nabha is <coughs> the entire space jagat means all the Worlds, aswats, uh, all of them prevailed. The entire universe and the sky or the space became nirmalam. It became clear. Until then, it was not clear. This this last two three shlokas are very powerful. Now we are looking at the complete ego annihilation here, and what happens after complete. ego annihilation he is being described in a very subtle way we just read the shlokas oh my god the the demon is killed you know and everybody became happy and there the story ended thereafter everyone lived happily thereafter and then once upon a time there lived this demon oh the demon is killed oh okay okay i am okay the demon is killed and the demon is killed everybody is happy everything became clear crystal clear the whole sky is clear everything is nirmalam completely devoid of any blemish tata tata prasannam akhilam hate tasmin duratmani jagat swatsya mati vap nirmalancha bhavanna bhaha तत प्रसन्नमखिल हते तस्ंदुरात्मनी तत प्रसन्नमखिल हते तस्ंदुरात्मनी तत प्रसन्नमखिल हते तस्ंदुरात्मनी जगत्स्वास्थ्यमतीवाप निर्मल भवन्न भ जगत्स्वास्थ्यमतीवाप निर्मलंचाभवन्नभ जगत्स्वास्थ्यमतीवाप जगत्स्वास्थ्यमतीवाप निर्मलंचाभवन्नभ तत प्रसन्नमखिल हते तस्ंदुरात्मनी जगत्स्वास्थ्यमतीवाप निर्मलंचाभवन्नभ तत प्रसन्नमखिल हते तस्ंदुरात्मनी जगत्स्वास्थ्यमतीवाप निर्मलंचाभवन्नभ उत्पात मेघा सोल का ए प्रागा संस्ते शमम यु ऑल द फ्लेमिंग क्लाउड्स उत्पात मेघा स उल का ए प्रागा संस्ते शमम यु द फ्लेमिंग क्लाउड्स बोर्डिंग 
evil portents that's what that were that were the flaming clouds the flaming portent clouds that's the very nice description in english can't beat that and those uh, they became quiet they became shamam means they became peaceful mayuhu when he fell sarito marga vahinah asya tatha samstatrapatite and the rivers kept within the course within their course that means before that they were overflowing the rivers were overflowing now what happened the rivers came into their boundaries when the ego is in full form the blood pressure increases and reaches beyond its bounds beyond 120 and above 80 when the ego is completely annihilated blood pressure drops and comes to normal and within its range utpata megha solka e praga samste shamam yayuhu all the thoughts that are completely clouded and they are absolutely clueless all of them get shattered just right now like there is a fog in sacramento all that fog gets cleared blood pressure drops everything is it's in its boundaries no problem with diabetes no problem with this and that everything before that there was no ease when there is no ease it is called disease <laughs> you see the words that we use uh, the the words that we use they are so powerful we say disease 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 have you looked at the word disease ease means everything is at ease everything is in its boundaries when nothing is in its boundaries then it is called disease the problem the fundamental problem of the body and the mind and the disease is associated with the ego when that goes everything comes back to normal utpata megha solka e praga samste shamanyayuhu sarito margavaki nyastatha samstatrapatite उत्पात मेघा सोल काये प्रागा समस्ते शमययु उत्पात मेघा सोल काये प्रागा समस्ते शमययु उत्पात मेघा सोल काये प्रागा समस्ते शमययु सारितो 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 उत्पात मेघा सोल काये प्रागा समस्ते शमयु सारितो सारितो उत्पातमेघासोलकाये प्रागा समस्ते शमययु सरितो मार्गवाहिन्यस्थथा समस्तत्रपातिते ततो देवगणा सर्वे हर्ष निर्भरमानसाह बभूवर निहते तस्मिन् गंधर्वा ललितं जगुः व्हेन दिस 
when this demon was killed, when he had been slain, Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamanasa. All the Devaganas, all of those Devaganas, all of them had happiness, Harsha Nirbharamanasa, fearless hearts. There was no fear anymore. Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamanasa. And Babhuvur Nihate Tasmin Gandharva Lalitan Jaguhu. And then when he was killed, all these Gandharvas, they started singing sweetly. Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamanasa. Hearts filled with joy. Because of fearlessness. Babhuvur nihate tasmin gandharva lalitan jagu. Now, there is a purpose where those words are used. If you look at fear and if you look at happiness, they are so intricately related. They are pretty much the same, but just the opposite side of the coin. Where there is no fear, there will be happiness. Because there will be peace. Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamanasa Babhuvur Nihate Tasmin Gandharva Lalitam Jaguhu Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamanasa Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamanasa Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamana Saha Babhu Vurnikate Tasmin Gandhar Valali Tanjaguhu Babhu Vurnikate Tasmin Gandhar Valali Tanjaguhu Babhu Vurnikate Tasmin Gandhar Valali Tanjaguhu Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamana Saha Babhu Vurnikate Tasmin Gandhar Valali Tanjaguhu Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamana Saha Babhu Vurnikate Tasmin Gandhar Valali Tanjaguhu Tato Devagana Sarve Harsha Nirbharamana Saha Babhu Vurnihate Tasmin Gandharva Lalitan Jaguhu Avadayam Statha Avadayam Stathaiva Anye Nandrutus Chap Sarogana Vavuhu Punyas Tathavata Suprabho Bhuddiva Karaka. Now everything is back to normal. What is back to normal? Some people were very happy and they say blue, you know, the trumpets, the celestial woman, Apsara Gana, Nandrutuhu, they all danced. Vapuhu, Vavuhu, Punyas Tadhavata, the wind started blowing, blowing favorably, and the sun shone very brightly, and thereafter everybody lived in happiness. This is the same story ending, you know, and then, but then we become again very unhappy, and why we become very unhappy? Because again the story repeats and the story keeps on repeating and she will tell later how many times the story will repeat because this is never ending story. So don't be too happy and suffer from happiness. It's not over yet. Avadayam stathai vanye nanritas chapsaro ganah vavuh punya statha vata suprabho bhut diva karaha like somebody asked me in one of the classes again that Mahishasra was killed why we are talking about another guy isn't enough to kill one rakshasa now another lot of other people arose and what is this point about these rakshasas coming back and she otherwise she will become jobless Therefore, let us keep looking at this happily. Avadayam sthathai vanye nanrutas chapsaro ganah vavu punya sthatha vata punya sthatha vata suprabho bhuddiva karaha. 
Avadayam stathaivanye nanratushcha psaroganaha. Avadayam stathaivanye nanratushcha psaroganaha. Avadayam stathaivanye nanratushcha psaroganaha. Vavuf punyas tathavata suprabho bhut divakaraha. Vavuf punyas tathavata suprabho suprabho bhut divakaraha. Vavuf punyas tathavata suprabho bhut divakaraha. Avadayam stathaivanye nanratushcha psaroganaha. Vavuf punyas tathavata suprabho bhut divakaraha. Avadayam stathaivanye nanratushcha psaroganaha. Vavuf punyas tathavata suprabho bhut divakaraha. Avadayam stathaivanye nanartushcha psarogana. Vavuf punya stathavata suprabho bhuddeva kara. And there ends chapter 10. 10 chapters and the 10 guys that we looked at. What are the ten guys that were annihilated? Matarme, Madhu, Kaita Bhagni, Mahisha, Prana, Upaharo, Jame, Hela Nirmita, Dhumra Lochanavadhe, He, Chanda, Mundar Dini, Nise Shikrta, Rakta Bija, Danuje, Nithye, Nishumbha Pahe, Shumbhadvam Sini, Nashayashu, Duritam, Ten. Durge Namaste Mbike. So, finish this and then we'll spend a few minutes into this ego and heliation. Sai Rama. Om Sasti Shri Markande Yapurane Savartnike Manvantare Devi Mahatme Shumbhavadho Namadasha Motyayaha Svasti Shri Markande Yapurane Savartnike Manvantare Devi Mahatme ये शुंभवधो नामदशमोत्यायः स्वस्ति श्रीमार्कंडे अपुराणे सावन्निके मन्वंतरे देवी महात्मे शुंभवधो नामदशमोत्यायः वेरी ब्यूटीफुल चैप्टर हियर and the rest of the three chapters are equally important than all these ten chapters because the story is not over. Why the story is not over? Why is the story never over? <laughs> because this thing called. Sairama, just I'm not asking a question for answering. I'm asking a question for us to look at. Don't jump and answer. Don't don't if you if you jump in and answer, you lost it. Because you really don't have an answer. You truly don't have an answer. If somebody has an answer, they will not be even talking about a story. <laughs> It's very, very important in looking at this 
last episode of uttama charitram all the things that have been said from chapter number 6 until now look into this very closely become aware of it like i was saying yesterday we are studying this geeta vahini in our sai center study circle it's 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 not even comprehensible for people the word desire when you actually look at what desire is not not intellectually trying to understand it and simply throw words like ceiling on desire this and that which is completely we are we are trying to make sure that we simply understood this and we stop we stopped the whole humanity is stopped and the reason why we are going through is because each of us as individualized entire universe each individual one each one of us is the entire universe but we don't behave like that we are not aware of that and we are not alert about it just ask the question if you can only answer the question what is desire if you can only ask that question don't ask any other question that's why rakta bija chapter is so long and so profound because it's all about that fundamental instinct and the movement within us so what do we do how do i live how is it practical what do i do about this story how do i bring it into this reality of my own existence as this ego mind body complex i am not going to give answers there are no it is not for one speaker or one individual or one rishi or one sage or one person to give answers to these questions and every time you do a rudram chanting every time you do a durga suktam chanting every time you do a purusha suktam chanting every time you do a devi mahatmyam parayanam every time you should go one layer deeper into looking at it this is the real sadhana this is the real adhyayana this is the truth and meaningful parayana ayana means path parayana means a path to the ultimate parayana doesn't mean taking a book and reading shlokas so perfectly that people are astounded by your perfectness of chanting that is the preliminary step that is the first step it's like the baby step as your perfection and focus of chanting increases you connecting to the every syllable in it you will be going deeper and deeper and deeper into this beautiful story that has never ever been described to such clarity why did the earth shake why did the oceans overflow why did the rivers start flowing in their boundaries why did clouds get cleared all of this stuff
when the ego has fallen, what has fallen is the identification with the I. What has not fallen is, is not that I. The identification with something else has fallen. And before this identification falls, there is a lot more that has to be fallen. And this awareness and this alertness is the true yajna. Not sitting around fire, throwing stuff into it and doing it for five days or eleven days or whatever number of times. That is simply the ritual which is truly offered is Ahamayam. Ahamayam kuto bhavati chinvataha ai patatyaham nija vicharanam ahami nashabhas pura makantaya spurati hrit svayam parama purna sat. This is Bhagavan's Upadesha Saram. The 30 couplets, the essence of awareness and alertness. What is this ego that has fallen? What is the basis of this ego? Vruttaya stvaham vritti masrita vruttayo mano vidhyaham manaha. Oh. The movement of thought is the ego. Then what is this thought? Where is this arising from? How do we connect to all of this movement within us? And the movement towards this false identification? You are moving your thought towards false identification. This Shumbha, 32 shlokas, how much of an incredible wisdom has been thrown in this chapter. Beginning with this false eye asking the question, Oh, you are supported by all these mothers. Come alone and fight with me, is what the ego said. And then this awareness said, Are a fool. In me are projected all these things, including you. In which everything is projected, become aware of that. Now don't try to intellectually understand this and say, I got it. Oh, I understood this. Oh, this is very simple. Oh, this is ego. Oh, this is this. Oh, this is that. No, no. You have just tried to understand the concept. But understanding it is absolutely not even closer to awareness. Because your ego still raises and raises and raises. Every time it raises. And have you really, really looked at that ego? Have you really looked at what am I identifying myself with? Really, that is what we are talking about in this yajna. Is this too intense, Sairam? Yes? Not at all. No, it's very good, Anna. So when we are looking at this Shumbha and when Shumbha is gone Shambhu comes into picture. <laughs> Shumbha, Shambhu huh? Hello Words are very similar Even the words are very very similar Because that reflection is actually not different from this awareness but what has happened is the problem is with identification with this. And it is very, very hard not to identify. And this is the reason why Bhagavan 
in this Gita Vahini, again Bhagavad Gita and Devi Mahatyam, they are like this. They are inseparable. If you truly did want to understand Bhagavad Gita in a way that you need to understand it and become aware of it, Devi Mahatyam is an amazing tool and so is Sri Rudram. Sri Rudram is actually 100% truth absolutely declared. And when you actually even come close to that, understanding that, you will not get into that awareness and being in that. And that is what is called insight. Inside of it, true love will come out. And we don't even understand the word desire. How can we actually understand the word love? We are thinking this love is some emotion thing. Oh, I love you, honey. What is this? I love you, honey. This love, honey, is absolutely coming from a place of memory where there is an expectation set between two bodies. That is not true love. True love has no memory associated with it. But our love is memory driven. We love somebody, including ourselves, based on our own memories. Please listen to this extremely carefully, please. Our relationship with every individual, including ourselves, meaning the body-mind complex, is completely memory-driven, impression-driven. And when we erase all of that, then we shall truly be present with that we are going into this beautiful chapter 11 which is Narayani Stuti one of the most powerful Stutis again this is the fourth of the Stutis and this Ekadasha Odhyayaha the eleventh chapter Ekadasha there is only one and all the ten has merged into the one. Ekadasha means eleven. Ten has merged into the one. Therefore, it became eleven. Sorry, where is this? My thing keeps going up and up. And it is not hitting the top. So, this beautiful, this beautiful eleventh chapter starts with a very powerful Dhyana Shlokam. And uh, it is set to almost like a meter. Balara vidyuti mindu kiritan tunga kuchana yanatraya yuktam smera mukim varadam kushapasha bhiti karam prabhaje bhuvaneshim. This is called Dodhakam Chandas. And this. Bala, Ravi, Indu, Kirita, Tunga, Kuchan, Nayanatraya, Yuktam, Smera, Mukhim, Varadang, Kusha, Pasha, Abhiti, Karam, Prabhaje, Bhuvaneshim. This is the Bhuvaneshwari. The entire universe, the source of this Bhuvaneshwari is where the eleventh chapter is invoking and let's do the dhyana shlokam and we'll get into it the, the words are very simple the splendor of a rising sun it is written here simple it sounds very simple bala ravi duty bala ravi means rising sun indu indu is the moon and the effulgence of bala ravi <laughs> the rising sun and a full moon and the splendor of those and the one who has nayanatraya yuktam tunga kucham tunga kucham means full breasts uh, don't look at that in the context of the words because what we are thinking about all of these things have no absolutely no context smera mukhim smiling face Varada, Ankusha, Pasha. 
varada means blessing posture with the hand giving boons ankusha is the gird pasha is the moose abhiti karam she is giving fearlessness and to that mother that is shining forth with a full raising sun and a full moon full of compassion and love tunga kucham heart filled with love nayanatraya yuktam beyond the three states of existence beyond the three states of time beyond the three states of body mind and spirit complex beyond the three all the three that we can think of smera mukhim completely filled with happiness and the one who is constantly there to love varada ankusha and require for us to be put in control pasha and to actually control all the different aspects that are associated with this ego complex to that mother who gives fearlessness and to that mother bhuvaneshi we are offering our salutations yes brother shekhar we haven't covered this uh, uh, dhyana shlokam yes so, i will i will so maybe you can maybe you can it. chant yes i can, i will repeat after you or maybe next time as you wish no that's okay we can just complete it it's, it's a very beautiful it is mm -hmm. set to a meter which is almost like a um, so om bala ravid juti mindu kiritan om bala ravid juti mindu kiritan indu kiritan indu kiritan bala ravid juti mindu kiritan bala ravid juti mindu kiritan two times uh -huh. balara vityuti mindu kiritan tunga kuchanaya natraya yuktam tunga kuchanaya natraya yuktam tunga kuchanaya natraya yuktam smera mukhim varadankusha pasha smera mukhim varadankusha pasha smera mukhim varadankusha pasha that pasha abhiti karam so then i will chant the second line okay smera mukhim varadankusha pasha abhiti karam prabhaje bhuvaneshim smera mukhim varadankusha pasha abhiti karam prabhaje bhuvaneshim i will put the swaras on it brother yes so yes yes everything is uh, mixed up yeah yes Okay, I will repeat one more time and then two times so you all get the tune of this and then we'll yeah. go to the thing. Okay, it's already eight o'clock. Sorry, yeah, two more minutes. Om Bala Ravid Duty Mindu Kiri Tan Tunga Kuchana Yanatraya Yuktam Smera Mukim Varadang Kusha Pasha Bhiti Karam. Prabhaje Bhuvaneshim Om Namas Chandikayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
and it is already recorded and uploaded to the Google Drive. You can listen to it, including the Dhyana Shlokam. And today afternoon at 2 o'clock, we will do the practice of chapter number 10. And uh, sorry, chapter number 9 will complete and go to, I don't know, what which chapter are we studying? I don't know. I'm lost. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, whatever we stopped last week, we'll continue. Okay. Yeah, it was 8th chapter and last time, last week. Okay. So, the... Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> well, today we'll have uh, Brother Branimir do the Shama uh, Prarthana as in Yadakshara Pada Brashta. Can I do Can I do Devi Shama Prarthana maybe? Yeah, it's up to you, brother. Whatever it yeah. is, Shama, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Om Aparadha Sahasranik Kriyante Harnishamaya Daso Yamiti Mamatva Kramasva Paramishwari Avahanan Najana Minajana Mivisarjanam Pujan Chaiva Najana Mikramyatam Paramishwari Mantra Hiram Kriyahinam Bhakti Hiram Sureshwari Yat pujitam maya devi paripur nanta das to me. Aparadhashatam krutva jagadam beti cho charet. Yangatim samavap no tinatam brahma da yasuraha. Saparadhos misharanam praptas tvan jagadam bike. Idani manu kampyo hayathe chasitatha kuru Agnana dvismruter brantya yanyu namadhikam krutam Tatsarvanksham yatan devi prasida parameshwari Kameshwari jaganma tasachidananda vikrahe Grahanarchami mam prit Prasida Parameshwari Guhyati Guhya Goptri Twangrahana Smat Kratanjapam Sithir Bhavatu Mede Vitvat Prasadat Sureshwari Om Shri Durkar Panamastu Swastiprajabya Swastiprajabya Paripala Yantam Nyaye na marke na maki maki shaha go brahmhani bhyashubhamastunityam samasta loka sukhino bhavantu samasta loka sukhino bhavantu samasta loka sukhino bhavantu Shanti 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 Sairam, so we can just spend five minutes if there are any questions, comments. I saw the note from Uma Sri Vatsayas, very beautiful, about Jnana Sambandar, to whom the mother gave the milk. It's a beautiful story of Jnana Sambandar. The milk in the context of referred to as the wisdom. That is the essence of wisdom that Jnana Sambandar got. Yes. Yes. Shekhar Gar, that um, 28th Shlokam uh, yeah. Ming Chaptanar, you said you'll, uh, you asked it to remind you on that. Oh, the 28th. Okay, okay meaning. Okay, okay. Yes. Zalimir, Zalimir is asking the same thing. Okay. 28th Shlokam. I think we we have, uh, let, me, let me go back to this 28th Shlokam, is about Sagata Suhu. Papata Urviam Devi Shula Agra Vikshataha Chalayan Sakalam Purthvim Sabdhidvipam Saparvataam. So the identification of the I is actually coming at various levels, and this identification as the body is the Urvi, the earth. <laughs> the identification with the flow of all our thoughts, 
and all our conscience associated with these thoughts and all these instincts is what is inside us what is constantly moving what is constantly moving are the rivers and the oceans and everything and what is moving within us the identification with those fall down when the eye falls down and then all this aspect of the bundles of karma that have accumulated as the mountains of karma all of them become shattered what remains is 100 percent the consciousness So, without telling all of these things, the shlokas are actually giving us all those insights. Yes, at physical level, at mental level, and somebody asked, Anna, what is a durita? Durita are the ones that are seeds of all your actions, is called durita. Naveva Sindhum. Duritat Yagnihi. What is a see? These words are something we are not just simply to be understood at intellectual level. You have to really focus on, and this is true meditation. What is what is a desire? What is an instinct? We are simply using these words. Don't get carried away just by the words. Look at what a desire is huh? very very tough you may get actually 100 percent intimidated by just uh, listening to this <laughs> i'm very sure and this intimidation process where the ego is completely annihilated is not an easy process because the entire paraphernalia of what you have built around you is crumbling no Is that a good feeling? Hello. Yes. It's a good. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah, glad. Yeah, you... yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is actually hundred percent not so much a good feeling because you know, for a lot of people, this is the world. What you identify with is the world. And when that is disappearing, what remains is not easily graspable and therefore we struggle. And as the ego rises, so will the blows that you get will raise. And therefore this ego even tries to confiscate your awareness and want to go fight somewhere where there is no base. This is what the Shumbha is doing. How many ways this ego plays with you is an amazing exercise. And when you become aware of it, you will understand it. Yes, what is calling my attention is that only the trident could hit the chest of that shumba. Mm -hmm. um, after using so many weapons, um, mother just could kill him with the trident. It's like the relationship with the, within the meaning of the trident and the ego. Yes, what is a yeah. trident? Is it many? It's many things. Is it the three owners? <laughs> no, no, I didn't ask. Physically, what so, is a trident? Oh, that's weapon with a tree, uh, like um, yeah, yeah, a trident. And you are made in the tree, no? You are made in the tree, the past, present, and the future. Mm. You, no, no, when I say you, not you as Sonia, oh, when, okay, we, I when I say when I say we, we are who are we? How do we operate as? We are operating either in the past or in the future. So when she comes, this is Tripurantaka, the three, the three, the annihilation of the three. 
so that you expand beyond the three, so that you are not contained within the three, so that you connect to the one in the three and the one that is beyond the three. These are a lot of words. Yes. A lot to digest. No, no, no. just do, 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 again, don't no, try, no. try to take what I am saying. Just look at it. Be present to it. Yes. Lot to, lot to look at. <laughs> yeah, lot to look at. Yeah, that is. <laughs> that, that is so beautiful. There is a lot to look at. But we are not looking. We are only kind. When you when something raises within us, are we looking? The moment you look at it, is so incredible. Just watch it. Be be a be a be alert. Be aware. Become aware. Become alert. Be a be a. This is the yajna. Baba is not some five foot three inch afro haired Indian dude sitting on a chair, whirling his hand, listening to your bhajan. Become aware, be alert. Then what happens? Look at it. Yes, look at it. Don't try to understand it. Because th th this is the most important trick of the mind. Ah, intellectuality is the trick of the mind. The moment you intellectualize it and then, oh, what a beautiful discourse Swami gave. What a beautiful thing Shekharji said. What a beautiful thing. It's all completely useless because that is not what this is about. This is Adhyayana. This is about looking at it with 100% attention. Attention. And that's the reason from 500 people, we have dropped to 130 plus. Because it's not easy for this 500 people to look at it something. The ego is constantly playing. Why should I listen to this? Why should I do this? Why should I do that? Look at your ego, how much games it plays with you. With the you means your awareness, not you as an individual. And what is this awareness? This awareness is not just Sonia. This awareness is not just Shaker. This awareness is not just Branimir. This awareness is not just Martin. This awareness is the entire humanity. Hello, Sairam. You ask the question, what is the purpose of being a human being? What, what is the purpose of it? We are all human beings. What's the purpose of a human being? What I'm a human being. What am I supposed to do? Don't ask, I am God, what am I supposed to do? Don't, no, no, that's way too complex question. I am a human being. What am I supposed to do? Anyone I has any have a question? Yeah, do you have an answer or question? No question, Anna. I don't no. have an answer. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm glad you have a question. So this is even more fundamental question. See, if when you ask a question, when you ask a question and you look at the question, see what happens. I just asked a provoking question to all of us. I am a human being. What am I supposed to do? To be love. What is that? What is that? Somebody said love. What is that? Sir, explain to me, sir. What is love? To love is to to love all the human beings. So what what is that, sir? To love all human beings. What does it mean, sir? What is love, sir? What is love? What is love? You are saying, you are saying what is love supposed to do? But I am asking, what is love? What is love? I think that we have a, a debt of love. 
no no i'm asking maybe there is an in, there is a question is not clear i'm asking us to look at what is love and uh, with limited uh, language of english right uh, develop a deep sense of appreciation and thankfulness and gratitude equally and and see that uh, reflection uh, of of the beauty and the flip side of of everything as as uh, as a unified way i i, I don't know yeah okay love is <laughs> okay sir rama no i'm I, again i i'm asking this question somebody writes love is divine then i ask the question what is divine then they'll say it is love what is love divine what is divine love where is your house opposite to the church where is the church opposite to my house uh so look at it yeah love somebody said love is a feeling oh my god that is exactly the trap love is god no but then what is god feeling everything no <laughs> okay what is <laughs> Oh, so okay. <laughs> okay, so Sairam, Sairam, the biggest trap that all of our aware of this love is as an emotion, as a feeling. For percent of the people, love is simply an emotion, a feeling. I love you. but what i am really asking us to look at is that is what is called not love that is called emotion you have certain attachment to somebody in a memory associated with that person and that memory brings back this feeling of connectivity to this person so you are operated by your memory towards this person that is not truly love it is the memory of your person to your father or to your mother or to your brother or to your sister or your friend or your wife or your girlfriend all of this is memory driven emotional feeling which we are calling it as love yes that feeling is coming from love but that is not love when what is love don't say it is divine it is god those words are meaningless because that assumes that you understood who is god that assumes that you understood who is divine yes am i provoking you i am not being I'm, I'm i'm asking us truly i mean in geeta vahini swami said desireless action and for many people for many people they don't even understand what is desire to understand what is desireless action yes when you are actually inside something and you are truly looking at it without any memory or psychological association with it and you become one with it without any attachment feeling whatsoever no physical mental emotional connectivity towards it but yet you become one with it you are getting close to what is called love it's not completely defined as love yet you are getting close to it <laughs> bran mere moje moje dobro 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 okay so brothers and sisters i am really grateful for this satsang because this satsang is not this individual this satsang is not just branimir this satsang is not just martin this satsang is beyond each and every one of us where there is no existence of 
any individual but this is this collective presence towards this devi mahatmyam mahatmyam is a is a is a word you look at everyone my my humble request to all of you is pray to the mother so that you actually look at every word that is described in devi mahatmyam at some point and in this perfectness of chanting you will come close to looking at the perfectness of the word and this word will present itself to you even the word mahatmyam word is devi mahatmyam look at that word and then you will come close to actually becoming aware of it when you become aware of something you don't need to even understand it you understand what i'm saying hello sairam when you look at the, when you become aware when you become aware of a beauty of a flower oh just just take an example of that you become aware of the beauty of a rising sun you become aware of the beauty of this incredible beautiful mother nature do you need to know what kind of flower it is do you need to know what its name and form is hello sairam when you look at a beautiful child and her smiling face you become one with that beauty and you become aware of that beauty do you need to know what the name of the child is do you need to know which caste she belongs which color she has which identification she has you don't because you became aware of it and in that awareness in that awareness when you are truly present in that awareness that is love and and shekhar that is that is Thank only you. a one one word right i mean you call it love now so is we can also call it some realization or you know sacrifice or... what word is meaningless sir right i mean no, so whatever the word the, whatever, the word, whatever that the you word describe, yes you are right the word is not important anymore yeah so it's only i mean it is beyond language right yes no but that's exactly the point i'm trying to say when you are becoming when you became aware of something do you actually care what its name what its form is and you are no. only present to its beauty no. and that is what is truly love you became aware of it you don't love it because it is my child you don't love it because it's my wife you don't love it because it's my father that is not actually love that is emotional connectivity a feeling associated with the attachment of your identification to that identification that is tamas and then in the tamas you arise this feeling of passion that i have to do something for my caste i have to do something from my group i have to be with my group i have to be identified with this nation i have to be identified with this religion i have to be identified with my caste creed my religion my sex my gender my this my that my this my that my this all this is passionate it is called rajasik it is not love it is emotion you are connected to the beauty and you are aware of this beauty where you drop this name and you drop this form but yet only present to that beauty that beauty is what we are actually calling as close to love saira <laughs> uh, is this enough for a, for a whole week and we come back to narayani namaste just i'll give a little bit of the word narayani this is what we are calling as narayani narayana is the pointer narayani is inside that 
Um, now, when you are reading this Ekadasi Adhyayam, then when you describe everything about who this Narayana is, how many different ways you can get inside her, you get inside that and you are in that, you are aware of that, that which allows you to get inside that, that is Narayani, the path to that is called Narayana. They are one and the same because the path and the destiny are one and the same. <laughs> the, the trap is whether you call Narayana, whether it is called Narayani, it is the same. Whether you call Shiva or Shiva, it is the same. No difference. But yet, again, our mind tells us this is Brahmani, this is Kaumari, this is Vaishnavi, this is Durga, this is Chamundi, this is Chandi, this is this, this is that. And then you carried away by understanding the name and the form, but you lost the connectivity to the oneness of that. Then you are in trap. Thank you very much. Jai Sai Ram. <laughs> Love you all. Thank you for the opportunity to be with all of you and to be in that with all of you. That is perfect.